Hello everybody, today is Thursday the 28th of October and I'm on the way to my sister, my little sister, just for having a cup of coffee. And I am a bit late. I had a lot of time and then suddenly <laughs> I was too late. I was working on the diamond painting. And yeah, I'm meeting her at the bus stop because her dog was still sleeping and she just woke her up now for me. And yeah. Very folly. I'll show you some. Just saw the pretty leaves. <laughs> I don't know what, what that tower is. <sighs> so. Ah, more nice colors. <laughs> Being foggy, but not too much. When I walked to her, my older sister wrote that she wants to visit me today. So she's coming in five minutes. I had a quick um, breakfast. Uh, it's a quarter to twelve. I didn't eat before. And um, yeah, now I'm waiting for my older sister. So a lot going on today. And I did see a squirrel when I went back home. I just passed it and it was right. Um, I passed it on a, it was on sitting on a fence. It's a little foresty pass and um, it even sat there and I was standing right on the same height as the squirrel and then it went up the tree and it's very very special to see that I love squirrels and we don't have as many I think the, in the US there are many many squirrels and deer <laughs> and I love those things and here they aren't that often so now I'm waiting for my sister today's Saturday the 30th of October and I just watched my intro and <laughs> I look so bad that camera angle from down there and it was in the morning and now I feel very bad of putting that out there <clears throat> but uh, I just go on uh, I didn't film anything yesterday so my sister was here on Thursday and I showed her the other diamond picture I finished and she wants it so I will um, put it on a frame and glaze it varnish it and then I'll give it to her and I am working on this diamond painting I have the part yep um, I am listening to audiobooks about horses it's um, from the horse's perspective and they catch um, ghosts and uh, which was not a ghost but a person and do other things which is fascinating fascinating just not normal they do very many things it's uh, German and I like having found that it has many many um, different episodes so that's very cool I'm a bit cold and I thought I might do the dishes because when I'm cold I, I often do dishes so I get warm hands and other than that I don't know what to talk about yeah. hope you're having a good day so, good morning, evening, or night? I don't know. <laughs> so, I actually started to do the dishes. And before I could start, I had to clean the sink a bit. And it has a little uh, thingy in the drain so that the, not everything goes down into the pipe. And I don't like cleaning that, but it has to be done. So, that's what I'm doing there. And... start with the dishes and I normally use some vinegar which helps with chalk and makes my stuff squeaky clean
And here I did another time lapse, but somehow that's not good. I should have filmed it normally and just sped it up a bit. So I was about to finish here. Uh, you've seen that. <laughs> Put that on. Um, and now my mother called and they want to come over for a, a coffee. Uh, they just need to wait for the post for the mailman and uh, well Darla happy retirement officially now I think that's done now so I hope you can have a good time at home without your work and yeah congratulations <laughs> um, yes my parents are waiting for the mailman and then they come over uh, yeah so I try to just to make it look nice and get oh prepare the table yeah make space on the table now we jump to after my parents visit i did decide to make a braid that was around three or four i don't know they stayed for an hour and a half and um, here i'm preparing the scale and the bowl i'm getting flour i'm taking 400 grams of flour I still have a rest of that wheat blend um, which I need to use up and then this, this is the third time I use it in a braid and yeah, I take a hundred grams of that and basically just the rest of the whole tin which I will realize soon Ta-da! <laughs> now I wanted to show it to you but it's hard also my auto focus doesn't work well on the camera and it skips a bit somehow. I don't know what I can do there. So this is that, just to show you the ratio of things. And then I will switch the camera position. Then I mix that um, blend very well, the blend. And now I take about uh, that much of salt. It's a bit too much. It's a bit less. Basically a, a tablespoon full of salt. Then I mix that well too. Now I add the yeast for 500 grams of flour. Oops, <laughs> I drop. And I have an espresso spoon in that one and I take four little spoons out of it. Which might also be a tablespoon or even a bit more. I just figured out that uh, if you take some sugar, it really works well with the yeast and and the braid proves well. Now mix it up thoroughly too. And then I go and get warm water, tap water. There's my cat in the background. Uh, three deciliters. And I add it slowly. Did you know? <laughs> and... Uh, I had to knead that one for quite a while. Uh, I could have used a little bit more water, but yeah. And here it's sped up. And by the end, I also cut out the part. So it takes about five minutes to make it. And now I put it in a plastic bag because it's very handy to do it like that. It pulls well on your day. And I just leave it in the kitchen. Uh, one should wait until it doubles its size. And I wait for about 40 minutes. This is 40 minutes later. It's proved a bit. And I prepare the oven and the tray there. Line it with paper.
and now I knead the dough again, um, push out the air, bubbles, things, and then I put it on the tray and wait for another 40 minutes. And I did film that with a time lapse, and it shows a bit, so you will see that next. for half an hour, 40 minutes. Forty minutes later, I took it out and I'm just uh, brushing some water on it so it gets a nice um, rind, <laughs> nice crust or not as crusty or crunchy, get a bit more leathery. It's also easier to cut the braid later. And I put a lot on it. I like doing that. <laughs> Don't know when to stop. And I do that right after I take it out of the oven so it um, evaporates that water. So. Voila. And the braid's done. And here's the thing to cut up. That's how it looks. It looks quite healthy. And just white flour and uh, that stuff. And I'm having two pieces with butter and honey. It is evening here. It was a very rainy day. Quite cold outside. And I have been listening to uh, kids' stories and working on this diamond painting. And I'm nearly halfway through. <laughs> And with that, I thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.